just a little preview. I'm gonna show you in this video how you can grow your own sponges even if your loofah only gets to the green stage. And I'm gonna get right to it, explain to you my process, and this was my first time, but look at these beauties. This is a spoiler alert. It is possible even with your loofah not getting fully mature on the plant. Now let's get started. Welcome to Schofield Farm, I'm Carice, and I'm gonna show you a little bit of my process with growing loofah, processing loofah, and hopefully, making it into a sponge that we can use. Loofah has been something I've wanted to grow for so long. I thought it was so absolutely cool to grow my own sponges. Last year I tried and got big beautiful vines and no fruit at all. I have found now that the vines absolutely love hot weather, which we have ample hot weather around here, but they don't actually set fruit till it cools off. And last year we had three triple digit days the last week of October. So that would make sense looking back why I didn't get fruit. This year I started them earlier inside. I transplanted them. We did get fruit, but then we had a random cold snap frost, which actually ended our garden at least three weeks early. We have not had a frost since that night. So this year we got loofahs growing. They, we had to pick them early while they were green because we had frost coming for sure the next night. As I said, no frost since then. So I have had them sitting on a shelf and finally am attempting to process them while they're green. I've tried two different ways. I wanna show you what I did. I have a little bit of video from last night to show you. I will show you some today. Hopefully I will show you how the finished product is before I post this so that you too can see what it's like. So first I wanna splice in here video of how beautiful my vines were and us harvesting the loofah because I want you to see what they look like. I have to tell you it was my favorite place in my garden this year. It was absolutely a beautiful arch trellis of loofah vines and flowers that the bees loved and these beautiful loofah gourds just hanging down. I thought it was absolutely magical. I want to grow them the same way next year because it was just so breathtaking. So last night I started the process of trying to figure out how to process the loofah. Now this one I put in the oven and I had it I think at 300 degrees. It was too high and too long and it turned it kind of this brown color. Even when the loofah is finished it still stayed a darker color. So the rest of them I only had at 170 which would be like a low dehydrating that I use to dry herbs or to dry flavored salts. I did not have it in any temperature that would actually bake them. Now, as you can see, the larger immature green loofahs 
were a nicer quality. Look at the great texture on there that's very sponge-like, even though it's not mature. There are a couple spots that I had to get off that were gooey or fleshy, but otherwise these were really, really nice before I'd even done a whole lot to them. Now, next I had to put the loofah in water to squeeze out the seeds and the pulp and maybe because they were green loofah, I found there was a lot of pulp and this was a really time intensive process. I had to actually use both hands to squeeze out and change the water multiple times. In the oven right here, you can see these were my less mature ones, the really small ones. I tried to salvage, most of them just cooked and I had to compost them. Only one of them really made it and it's this one right here. You can see it is a good texture though it's a darker color, but I did squeeze stuff out and this one did really well. This is probably the smallest size that worked for me of all the green loofah. Now I'm hitting the loofah. I read somewhere if you pound it, it makes it easier to take the peel off. These look really nice. I alternated between drying them on the rack and putting them in the oven at 170. I also did the process of squeezing out the pulp and seeds multiple times. This was like a long process, drying, squeezing, drying, squeezing, over a lot of time. I'd have to go away from this project and come back. I have my larger loofahs in here. I already washed them once. I'm washing them and soaking them again. I need to do it more, but look at that. It is going to be a very nice loofah, I think, when it's done. So this is one that's not even quite all the way dried or cleaned. It was definitely a green loofah. You can see some sliminess still left, but I have high hopes for this. Some of the stuff I took off of it maybe could be a sponge, but it's super goopy, slimy. I want to show you what that's like because inside of loofah if they're not all the way dried out mature they're slimy and seedy now the white seeds these are not viable for saving if there's black seeds in your loofah you can save those to replant but the white ones will not bear more fruit this is an update on my loofah i'm going to show you how these all look but these are all completely dried out which is awesome awesome okay, let me show you the different ones here is one that you could remember me massaging in the water and it is a little darker because i had it in the oven okay another one this one was only in the oven very shortly on 170 just to dehydrate it not to have anything possibly cook it's one of the more mature ones it's a beautiful color another one very nice very nice and dried out. The one that I said was the darkest, here we go. Still pretty dark. Can I use it as a sponge? I'll probably use it like as a kitchen sponge. That's what I'm thinking about it. But I have quite a few of them. They look great. More, more, a few more I can't quite reach. So I would say making my own sponges, growing my own sponges was absolutely a success. It was worth it and it was doable even harvesting them green with our unexpected early frost. If you grow loofah and your loofah are green and you find out your frost is coming, do not despair. You can still get beautiful sponges. Do not throw them away. Do not compost them. Hopefully this is a video you can save and remember there is a way to successfully get sponges, even only getting your loofah to a green. Have a great day. I hope this is helpful and I will talk to you soon. We're always doing stuff around here and I love to have you with me.